The following training is sponsored by the Niagara Library System. We serve our member libraries in Niagara, Orleans, and Genesee counties. Please visit your local library homepage and use your library card to get access to streaming videos, downloadable music, audiobooks, ebooks, and even more from the comfort of your own home. Thank you. Hello. Good to see you as always. I am whoops, um, back here with another Maddie McTech video. Again, great. Uh, follow him if you can. He does reels on Facebook and he's probably on TikTok and all those other social media platforms. Um, but this is uh, from Facebook. These are the reels. And um, he talked about, and this was kind of neat, you can actually find books with a slider. And um, so he talks about powerful websites you should know. And uh, let me just get this to where it should be. Let's see, okay, there's no sound right now. All right, you go to this website, which is called whichbook.net. So I thought, okay, well, I'll try it. And, and I went ahead on my work computer and I plugged in whichbook.net and this is the uh, homepage. Okay, they talk about finding books by mood and emotion. You can actually pick by world map, its character and plot. You can look for best sellers, uh, different trending books, and uh, just here's quick starting points. Everything from happy books to cheer you up, uh, sad books, unpredictable books to keep you guessing, um, books to give you hope, and then they have all of their about us and those types of things at the bottom. But just scrolling through here, let me just show you real quick what it does. And let's say you want to find a book uh, using like the slider system that they have. So I'm going to go ahead and click on mood and emotion. Let me move my recording screen. Hang on a minute. Everything's changing around, sorry. Okay, so now that I've moved this over a little bit, you can see um, that uh, over here on the left-hand side of the screen, you can select up to four different sliders. For example, between happy and sad, if you check the box, then it gives you a slider. So you can go from like very sad and they, they show, you know, the different books uh, show on here to say a little more happy, let's let's do that, and they, they change that. If we wanna do uh, even, let's say, something here uh, funny or serious, I'm gonna go more for the funny side. <laughs> they have safe and disturbing, expected or unpredictable, larger than life or down to earth, beautiful or disgusting, gentle or violent, easy or demanding, no sexual content versus uh, explicit, conventional versus unusual, optimistic versus bleak, uh, and short versus long. And you can select up to four. Let me pick kind of in the middle here, and then I'm gonna go more for, say, the conventional here in the, in the sliding. Okay, so uh, every time I move, you can see that the screen flips around and, and shows you uh, different book covers. Let's say I find something, it, it, I mean, there's there's tons. There's there's a huge number, and as you keep scrolling down or, or uh, um, paging through, they keep um, popping up. So, I don't know, I was looking for maybe something, I don't know, interesting uh, to me, you know, obviously. Um, so, I don't, let me see if maybe we have this, this particular novel, um, Breaking Away, by uh, Anna Gavalda. Now, you can view the book, so let's click on that link and see what it does. Okay, so it pulls up with a match, so it says a fair match, uh, touching, funny, perceptive, short novella uh, about adult French siblings taking a trip. <laughs> uh, it should uh, appeal to women with brothers, sisters, or in-laws. Uh, I enjoyed this bright and breezy read, and uh, then they have parallels here, The Accidental Tourist, uh, Everybody's Fine, the film, and I Capture the Castle by Dodie Smith. And I'm curious if maybe we have this book here at Nioga. So what I'm gonna do is actually, well, before I do that, let me actually close this little screen. And so we end up getting a lot of different um, books of, of just all kinds. Okay, now this is really cool, but I am also interested, I'm thinking, well, what, who, who runs this site? Why, how do they do this? How did, I mean, this is, not an insignificant investment in a website, um, and it's it's quite easy to use. And that, who are these people? 
And so I had gone to like the about page, which actually didn't give me too much information, but the contact page actually gave me the information I wanted. So let me flip over to the tab that I have open that is contact us. On this page, it tells me exactly what I wanted to know, which is which book is created and managed by opening the book. And it gives you uh, where they are, and they're in West Yorkshire in England. And I was curious where that was, so I went to Google Maps. Uh, and here is West Yorkshire. It's near Leeds and Sheffield in the UK, so that, that's where they are. Uh, of course, also they have their web page here, so I went and opened up their home page. So here they have their welcome page, public library design, library shelving systems, and different library training sources, online courses. They do design, they do shelving systems. If we scroll through, um, I actually, this was great. I, I think I need something like this for my own house <laughs> with wheels on it. They have prominently on their own site, the Discover Your Next Great Read, which is uh, your thewitchbook.net. This is all very, it's on the up and up. It is what it is. It's its a real website. <laughs> I thought it was kind of cool. This is a really different way of selecting books. And my goodness, the things you can find are really just amazing. Of course, if you find something and you're like, well, I wonder if we have uh, this particular book in our collection since it does give us the title and the author we can always go to nioga.org so here in search of the missing eyelash that's where my my mouse landed uh by karen maclea what i'm going to do is open a new tab you'll go to uh, nioga.org that's our home page and again i'm terrible where was i in search of the missing eyelash no results for that. <laughs> okay, well, that's fine. Uh, but you might find other books that are interesting, uh, are good for you. And it's just another interesting way to find things. Coming back to uh, the witchbook.net uh, homepage, or the page where I found In Search of the Missing Eyelash, it does say here, and uh, this showed up before, but it wasn't on the screen where you can uh, actually get, it's a fair match. It tells you uh, what's, what's in it. You get the opportunity, it says here, to borrow the book. I'm not sure from where, but we'll find out. Uh, and, or we could buy the book and it tells you kind of about the content, a little bit rating system. All right, I'm curious about borrowing the book, so I'm gonna click that link. And the first thing that pops up is, of course, the United Kingdom region. So let me click the not in UK, see what happens. It actually sends me over to uh, WorldCat. So the WorldCat catalog. So when I click on this, let's see. In the uh, WorldCat catalog, we find you can go ahead and actually put in your zip code and then it will give you the libraries that have the book and the distance away approximately from where you are. So <laughs> pretty interesting. I You can find lots and lots of stuff. You can go and kind of dig around and dig deeper and, and find stuff that you may have never found before. So let me just back up here. Uh, so let me close this. So uh, going back to the top, uh, what we did was we went to witchbook.net. We picked by uh, mood and emotion. You could do world map, you could do character and plot, you could search bestsellers. There's, it's just another way, um, and actually a very visual way of finding a book based on uh, your own mood, what, you know, and, and just discovering brand spanking new things that you might not have thought of before. So. I thought this was really cool. It's it's totally legitimate. And the company again is called Opening the Book and they're based in the UK and they do a lot of library work. So I, <laughs> and we introduced WorldCat too for a world catalog. Take care. I hope you found this interesting and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Never know where these are gonna go <laughs> by now. <laughs>